Hello viewers, welcome in a new tutorial of MS Pilot Training and in this tutorial we are going to learn some basic important settings of MS Pilot uh, like how to choose currency and how to choose and how to set the start date of the way. Okay, now let's start. First of all, we need to go on product options and we will click on file. Then we will click on options. Now you can see product options window has been appeared now. Now we have to click on display. And you can see calendar, calendar type. If you click on drop down, there are three types of calendar. And you can choose any calendar as per your requirement. From this portion, you can choose currency for costing of your product. You can see in a symbol it's showing a dollar symbol and placement dollar one if you click on drop down so you you can see there are four types of placement and on right side there is a decimal digits you can increase or decrease decimal digits and in in currency options you can see usd us dollars If you click here on drop down button and you will be able to choose any type of currency in which you want to maintain uh, the costing of your project. Let's suppose I am going to choose PKR, Pound Rupees. Symbol is uh, now RS and placement is RS1 and in currency you can see PKR. And in this portion, you can do settings for indicators and options buttons. Let's suppose if I just uncheck this box and I will not get any indicators or options when I will assign resources on activities. Now move on next uh, option. That one is a schedule. And now you can see start uh, week start on. Week start on means what? We, we can set, we can choose start day of the week, Monday or Saturday. If you are in the Middle East or in Saudi Arabia, so you will choose Saturday and I'm, I'm going to choose Monday here. And now you can also choose uh, any month for your physical year. And now you can see from these options, we can we can set start and finish time for our project if you click on drop down so you can choose default start time from here and if you click on uh, on the next default start end time so you can choose end time for your project next option you can see hours per day you can uh, it's showing eight hours per day you can increase or decrease from these buttons and next is hours per week. It's showing 40 hours per week. So actually this setting is according to 5 days work week. If you have, if you want to set a calendar according to 6, work, 6 days work week. So you will, you can increase hours per week like this. If you click, you click on this button. So you can see uh, now there are 48. 8 multiplied by 6 there will be 48 okay and you can also increase days per month from this option now move on next option in scheduling you can see show assignment units as i if you click on on a drop down so you can see percentage and decimal so i am going to choose decimal for assignment units Next is a uh, new task created. If you click here, so you will see two types of schedule, manual scheduled and auto scheduled. And as per you can choose as per your requirement, I am going to choose auto scheduled. Next is auto scheduled task scheduled on. If you click on drop down, so you can see the two options, project start date and current date. So you have to choose project start date. Next is option for duration. Duration is entered in. If you click on drop down, so you can see there are few options, minutes, hours, days, weeks, months. So, 
uh, if you are working on a shutdown project so you will choose ours definitely and if you uh, if you are working on a like a regular project so you can choose days even you can if you want to enter the enter uh, the uh, estimated duration of tasks in a week so you can choose weeks no problem so next is a work uh, work is entered in work is entered in uh, you can see there is all the same options winners or days weeks and months so I will choose ours in this option. Next is default task type. If you click on drop down, so you can see three types, three options. So I'm going to choose first one. That one is a fixed unit. Now I will click on OK button to save these changes. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are enjoying this training, so please uh, leave us a thumbs up and some comments. See you in next video.